Hey guys, it's Samantha from Samantha's Designs. Hope you're doing well today. Um, today I'm bringing you the first part of a three-part series um, that I'm hoping you get some inspiration from. I am going to be using this die right here in all three cards just to show you the versatility that dies can be. Um, have a good play with what I have on hand and see what I can create. Uh, this is a really cool die. I believe I got this originally from eBay some time ago, but it's just been really versatile. I've used it many, many times on cards. I think it's a good card, to, um, basic die to use for a guy's card or anybody really for almost any occasion. So just wanted to share this with you today. I think it's really cool and no, I don't go sailing, but in my mind, I can through <laughs> my craft. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy, and this is part one. So today we're starting out um, with a piece of cardstock. This is pretty lightweight. Um, probably should have got out some of my heavy cardstock, but this is what I had on my desk that I had needed to be used, so I'm using it. It's six and a half um, by six, and on the six and a half side, I'm going to score it at three and a quarter. So let me make sure I'm at the six and I'm on the six and a half. That is correct. I'm so proud. I did it. Uh, three, three and a quarter is where I'm going to score. Um, if you're wondering, why are you making that size card? Well, I had a good play um, the other day. If you watch my Instagram and I made this card, see, it's, it's the same size. And I just thought it was cute, fun, and I had some little business envelopes that um, this size card will fit into perfectly. So I decided to make a few cards that using this. So today that's what I'm doing. I'm using that same die set. Trying to stay in frame this way. Okay, there we go guys. I'm still trying to get used to my new setup, so bear with me. Okay, so we have the card base. We're just going to set that aside. Now for the image, I have, um, I cut this out in white, and I want to think, same, same poundage. It's probably 65 pound guard stock uh, recollections that I have on hand. And when I did this, <clears throat> I did this, and you're going to go, what is she got going on there? But um, this is the die cut. It comes off really easily i say that and now i've got one piece that's gonna stick then i got it don't let go you can do it okay there we go um i did it on some folded over dryer sheets <laughs> trying to make this easy this is a pretty intricate die so you you might want to try this dryer sheet technique and if you've never done that <clears throat> i'll try to remember below to link um tutorial I use to learn how to do this so that these things just pop out much much easier so I left it right on the dryer sheet um, I am going to take out or attempt to take out the the frame part and leave all the bits and pieces because those are the ones I want to color we're gonna go do a little bit of die cut inlay but I'm gonna color these I'm not gonna do it with colored cardstock or anything I'm just gonna color um, the cardstock that's here from this, from where I die cut this. Okay, if I can get it up. This is um, awkward, <laughs> to say the least. I'm trying to leave it, but these pieces are starting to pop out on me, so we'll let them and hope for the best. Okay, this is, I'm trying to remember what parts will be the, kind of the s sunset and the parts that'll be what I'm going to consider the ocean. Okay, so this is all partly sunset, so we'll put those over here. And then there, this will all be what I'm going to consider the water. So I'll put that over to the side. And there's some other little bits and pieces. I'm going to leave those right where they are and just color them. I'm getting out my Copic. The Copix guys. Um, you could do this anyway. You could sponge it if you wanted to. I think I probably would if I had some finger daubers, but I don't. I don't have any finger daubers, so I'm just going to 
have a play with the few Copics that I have. I don't have a huge set of Copics, but um, for the little bit of coloring I do, these are fine. And I'm just going to color in these portions. And this is probably what's going to take the longest on this, this card, and I apologize for, because I'm going to leave this just like it is in real time. People with better skills than I do when it comes to editing would speed this part up for you. I'm not that fancy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just not that fancy yet. Maybe one day. I'm hoping. So I am back in grad school. I know. Crazy, but I am. Um, started back Monday. I'm very happy that I got my paper done today. A day early after one more response post to do for the week that'll get done tomorrow because I have to write in a paper I'm done thinking about the subject you know what I mean so I'm hoping you know we'll just say as you know if you've been watching my channel or following me on Instagram once that school is going on taking time to create videos and things just don't happen I do do a pretty good job about adding new things to my Instagram, but like this week already <clears throat> with school and things, um, I don't think I've made, I've done one Instagram post this whole week. Not that I don't take time to create, I just don't take time to share all my goodies with all of you, which I really hate because I, you know, I like sharing them. I kind of keep them, save them up and then when I have a moment, if you're going to follow me, I do have a blog. Um, and everything will be in the description below, below of where, where you can find me and a Facebook. But I have to say, Facebook page and Instagram are probably where I'm the most, um, where I post the most things right now. Just because it's a little bit easier. I would love to say I post just as much on my blog. But, um, yeah, putting things on a blog takes more, a little more time in my opinion. Instagram, it's more of a little blurb. And I can put that directly on my Facebook page, so it's it's so much simpler. Okay, now I'm not doing anything fancy. I don't even think I'm going to um, add any shading or anything. As you go over this, it kind of shades a little bit, but eh, this is just you know for fun to show you. There are different ways you can use your dyes. You just have to kind of think about the techniques you know what you have on hand, and then have some fun. That's the big thing, is just having a little bit of a play. Okay, I think that's okay for that. Oop. Now I'm gonna do the parts that I consider kind of the sunset or the sun. When I'm doing this dye, that's typically what I like to do, is I like to make, um, parts of the inlay the water per se and then the rest of it the sunset and these got some really teeny pieces and I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them because I'm really good at that but we're gonna hope for the best oh there it went and it popped right over there please don't go anywhere don't let me lose those okay so now the sunset pieces hmm I'm going to just make those um, kind of a, make them yellow, I guess. That'll be, that'll be good, right? Just a good, pretty yellow. These are a little bit more substantial, so easier to color in my thought process, anyway. And then the rest of the dye, I'm going to leave it white. I'm not going to color the framed parts. I'm just going to leave that. You could do that. You could maybe <clears throat> have a deeper yellow. I could make the frame of the other parts deeper. But eh, I don't think so. I think I'm going to like this one. And if you're like a really good Copic person, you could... Um, Add shading to this. I try to shade. I'm, a, I'm 
there are times that I do it and I go, oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> there are other times. Yeah, I just go, oh, well, it's colored. <laughs> it might be color perfect, but it's color. So those of you who do other Copic or use different markers, let me know how what you use to color. What's your favorite color medium? I know some people like colored pencils and things. I, I've used colored pencils not very often, and I've definitely never done it with Gamsol and that kind of thing. There's a there's always that bucket list. Um, one day I'm going to try it, but the, it just hasn't happened. And I, I just don't have a huge amount of room for everything that I would love to buy in the market for my craft. Because if we're up to me, I'd have one of everything, but but then I don't have that type of income and nor do I have that type, kind of space, but I would love it. It would be fun to have everything. Okay, very simple Copic coloring. Okay, so on my base, I want a little bit of background. So I have blue and yellow. What do I want to use for a background? I don't know. I think I'm going to get out some of my... This is um, some photo mats I bought for, from... Phew, this has been forever. Who knows how long I've had this. I have things in my stash, so I've had phew, 10, 15, 20 years. Who knows? So, <laughs> anyway, this is by Colorbox. And I really am trying to be more mindful and not just buy things to buy them. Um, I could do yellow because it would match. But there's a lot of yellow in the background already. I could do pink. Maybe that pink. Yeah, let's do pink. Alright, so I know my base is three and a quarter by six. So let's cut this down. Oh, see, here's where I'm going to lose these pieces. Okay. So, I'm going to do maybe an eighth of an inch shine. Of six inches. So, five and seven eighths. And then, I'm going to make this it's three and a quarter. I might as well go all the way to the end because that whole die is going to take up the whole space. I'm going to do the three and a quarter. Just like that. So, it needs a little bit more shaved off of that, so I'm going to get a little tan this time. For this kind of thing, I love my guillotine because it can take off little slivers in a heartbeat. And it does it so well. Okay, let's see if I like that better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. I'm going to just use some um, tape runner. If you see sticky things on my this is where it's from because I use tape runner and then I invariably get some on the table and then when I'm working on the table then it gets dirty looking from all the tape. See? I just did it again. Hey. I can't win. No, I'm just kidding. As usual, that looks a little lopsided, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I do that all the time. It's not a big deal. Okay. So, oh, it's going to have a frame. I thought it was going to cover the whole thing. That's awesome. Okay. So, let's let's glue this down. Um, I use the Elmer's Craft Wand. That's kind of my go-to. Everybody has their own go-to glue. I haven't tried... A lot of things. I've had some Rangers uh, matte medium and I really enjoyed that as well. But I didn't have a good um, 
applicator. It was in a jar. And so it always frustrated me. And I know a lot of people buy the little precision bottles. But this I like because it's already got, it's not a precision um, tip, but it's a good enough tip that you can glue pretty well and pretty easily. So I like this. It's just easier. And I found these, I've told you this I think in the last video. I found these at the Dollar Tree. It was a I mean, that was one of those, I, shri I think I shrieked in the sh store when I saw them on the shelf. So they come in a three pack and they were a dollar a piece, a pack. And I was like, oh, so I bought several, let's just say. Let's just be honest. And so, but typically this, I think this is, runs around $3.69 for the three pack. Um, and then they also, it also comes in big bottles. I do have a big bottle as well. I don't grab for that as often because that's really for something that I just need a little. They don't care if the stream is very big or whatever, which is not the case for this. So, now we're going to put it right here. And since I have wet glue, I have some wiggle room. Now, this is where you need to put something heavy on it. Where's my... Oh, here's Let's use this one. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a minute, let this dry, and then we'll be back to put in the pieces. Okay, guys, we're back. I um, had a little bit of time to dry. Not much, because I, I didn't take long. I just wanted to make sure it stuck down pretty well before I moved on. So now we're gonna start fitting in our pieces. All right, where's my, okay. Need my, I need my handy dandy tool here uh, tweezers because I love those things okay so we're gonna start fitting in things that we colored or that I colored excuse me so the nice thing about this is it just does fit in like a puzzle piece it is so cool all right this one's going here is that where that goes yeah. You can do this with pattern paper. Um, you don't have to do it with cardstock, uh, colored cardstock. Like I said, you could um, use blender brushes to color this in. You can do this any way you want. I love die cut inlay, especially if it's something that's not too complicated. If it's got a lot of little pieces, I get a little daunted by that but this is just enough you know what I mean I'm just gonna try to fill in some of these hope everybody out there is staying safe I know here where I live in Southern California we have new cases every day of COVID and I work in the healthcare system so uh, you know, I, I get to see it kind of up close and personal in a lot of ways. So, I'm always thinking about others and thinking about the nurses and things I work with. I'm actually a nurse myself, but I don't do bedside nursing anymore. So, and I'm hoping those, always hoping nurses are doing, staying safe, using their PPE the way they're supposed to. And then everybody else in the community will continue to do what they need to do by being socially distant when you're out and about. Which is hard to do, I know. Now I have, see I've lost that little piece that goes in there, unless it's in that blue section, which will be fun. It'll look kind of weird. I may not put it in. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's see if we can't start putting in some of this uh, ocean part. Okay. 
And then once again, once you get this all done, you'll have to put something heavy on it again. No, that doesn't go there. How it is here? Mm, come on, stay down. You can do it. Oh, I got glue on my fingers. So, I'm... tell you what, let's do that. Oh no, we can't do that. Oh no, I've created a mess, people. <laughs> And stay put. Thank you. This. Nah, that don't get there. This goes here. Okay, come on, come on, come on, stay. Grab. Crab. Okay. I know you're watching me going, what is she doing? She's fumbly. Yes, I am. I am not perfect by any means when it comes to making cards, but I just love doing it so much fun. we go. I probably shouldn't have put so much ink on things, but anyway, I did. It is what it is, people. Alright, where does this one go? This one goes here. If you hear anything behind me, it could be music my husband's blasting in the next room. <laughs> so, Oh, maybe I have this turned wrong. Hey guys, I watched The Greatest Showman for the first time. I did, have not seen it before now. I don't always watch things when they first come out, but I really enjoyed it. I was starting to think, I know I'm going to offend someone <laughs> saying this. I was starting to think I just didn't like um, musicals anymore because I've always been a big musical fan and the last one I watched, I like Mary Poppins Returns pretty well, but I watched La La Land and I couldn't get into it. I just, I don't know what it was about that movie. It just did not, I watched it and I tried to rewatch it, you know, and I was just like, nope, this is just, it just wasn't working for me. And I know the same um, guys who scored The Greatest Showman scored La La Land too, and I was just like, but I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. I don't know why that is, because like I said, I've always been a huge, huge fan of um, musicals, but for some reason I couldn't get into that one, but The Great Show Man was awesome. It was really good. And I didn't realize that I knew a lot of the the songs, I didn't know those songs that I've heard on the radio or wherever I've heard them came from that show. So, I was like, oh, I know that song. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to be upset here because I've, as usual, I think I've lost a few things. Oh, get in there. All right, I have two... <sighs> These are not sticking and grabbing like I want them to. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Be a puzzle. Be a nice person. Get in there. Thank you. Alright, I got three pieces left. I don't know. Alright, this goes here. Hmm. Okay, this is going to go over here. Oops. Okay. Alright, I 
have one piece left. So So I did better than sometimes I usually do. Uh-oh, go there. I got some pink showing. That's interesting, but it's okay. So the only one I'm missing is right here. But I'm gonna leave it. I don't think that's that it's not hugely distracting. And again, I'm going to pause. Let this dry for a little bit, and then we'll finish up. Okay, guys, we're back. We're, it's not completely dry, but it's good enough that it's starting to stick and stay where it needs to. I have a sentiment I made some time ago. It's in my little die cut um, container where I keep extras and things. So this is thank you. It's just on a little um, craft cardstock. So I'm going to add that right there. And let me try. Trim it down just a little bit. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. And we're going to put it. I actually probably need a little bit more. Okay. It's got a little. There it goes. Alright, let's put. Um. Yeah, let's put glue on this too. Because I'm going to put putting some over all of this anyway, I'm thinking. Very good. And I'm just going to um, finish this off with some Nuvo drops. This is the Nuvo crystal. And it is in. Oh, can't see because it's still got a price tag on it. It's a sparkly blue. I don't know what the color is, though. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can get this off. I'm not a professional, people. And it doesn't say it's still. Alright, you well. Forget it. There's a sticker on it. It's not coming up. And now all it's doing is sticking a so let me just do a little test one over here. There we go. And then I do a little tap, trying to make sure they get a little flatter. And that's the card for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for coming along on the ride. This is probably not my best work by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still fun to do paper piece, piecing. And this particular die is so versatile. And I wanted to share with you different things that I usually use it for. And I'm happy with this card. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye, guys.